you know how many times I, I see these videos and <clears throat> hear new age people and stuff, they'll be talking about the weird synchronicities and changes and stuff, and they'll say that they claim that we came here to see to this transition to a higher plane or whatever the heck, right? I gotta say, I feel like that's a load of crap. That we just, oh, we agreed to the circumstances of our life. I don't believe that. There's a lot of decent people, a lot of good people getting screwed over. And I feel like I've been getting screwed over here. It's like, uh... I mean, I'm gonna, I'll, I'm gonna kind of exaggerate a little bit, but this is the kind of shit like uh, that. What it's like with the Mandela effect and all the weird synchronicities and stuff. Maybe exaggerating a little bit, but this is <clears throat> just making up like, say, a, a fictional uh, event or a fictional series of things here, because this is basically what it's like. If you take it to an intense level. I tried to describe it before in other ways, but the way in which the Mandela effect can screw you the heck over. I mean, it's like they even had a movie where it kind of showed uh, in the movie, you know, the movie I think was kind of terrible, but but part of the movie is the guy wakes up one day and his daughter was dead. And it's like everybody's acting like, oh, it's just, oh, yeah, she drowned, you know. There's this other thing called, uh, that I thought was a lot better that was kind of Mandela Effect. It was called This Is Andromeda. It's like a short film. And in that one, uh, you know, the guy who was supposed to pick up his, his wife worked at CERN and he was supposed to pick her up one day and then all of a sudden, uh, it's like, oh, she's been dead for 10 years, don't you know? You know? Yeah, it's kind of like that, you know. That's that's how this fucking chicken screw you over. You want to go buy a car? Or it can screw you over so the car is completely different, or it's gone, or it's broke down. You want to buy a house, and you've got the money to do it, but when you show up, the house is not there, or it's just disappeared, or it's different, or somebody else already it's not for sale, or you know something, you know changes where you, you get some job working for a place and you had a really nice boss and, and the place you work for is like a charity organization and it's wonderful and doing all this good and then one day something changes and the people at your job are a bunch of like totally evil bastards and they're doing a bunch of evil shit and they got you roped into it, you know? And it's like, what the hell happened to these people? Where am I, you know? And one day you got a million bucks in the bank and then, and then your money's all gone. And, uh, or you only got 5,000 or something all of a sudden. And it's like there's no record that you ever had the million that you had. You know. <laughs> Imagine that, you know. And while all this is going on, the sun and the moon and the stars are fucking changed. And the landmarks have changed. And, you know. And that everyone treats you like you're nuts or they don't even pay attention. Like everything's just different. That's what the Mandela effect, basically. And the sort of shit that I go through feels like to me on a lar in large part. I don't hear people talk about this from this perspective, but what I see it as is a completely negative, evil fucking thing that is robbing us blind and fucking us over. At least it is me, it seems like. And it's like, it's like a form of torture, like slow torture, long drawn out, slow torture, basically. That's what the fuck it is, essentially. Methods of basically psychological torture, or emotional torture, you know, deprivation of, it's it just, 
it's like the kind of torture that you would get like uh i don't know things that some people don't even recognize as torture but that are methods of torture like um i don't know i'll list some types of torture that they would use uh that people probably wouldn't even think of in that way uh like say you're left in a room with no calendar and no clock the lights are on 24 hours a day or you're put into a room where it's completely dark and no sunlight shows up you have no window you can't see outside and you have no idea what time you know Oh, as time passes, you don't know how many hours have gone by, whether it's day or night. You know, that's a form of torture, right? Or uh, isolation is a form of torture. You have no contact with other people that you can, you know, have anything in contact with or in common with. You know, and you have uh, just being deprived of of basic fucking needs like. Or, or given just enough to squeak by, like the way you see prisoner, pictures of prisoners from concentration camps that'd be all skinny because they didn't get fed enough food. I give them just enough to stay alive, but not enough to, to really be healthy or strong, you know? Not enough to, to get better. That's why I feel like it is here. It's like, especially with the way the way the Mandela effect kind of takes hold and and things change. It's like you're just being kept on subsistence level where you're you just barely squeak by and stay alive or something, but you can never do anything to improve your situation because you're just trapped and you're stuck. And anything you try to do will just goes to shit, you know. It's a theft. It's a theft of my life. It's a theft of my, you know, comfort, any kind of fucking human decency. It's a theft of or my will or my rights or whatever, you know. I don't know if this is supposed to be some kind of a test or some afterlife thing or what the hell it is, but I don't want any fucking part of it. I'm sick of this shit. It's just a waste of my fucking goddamn time. It's a waste of my fucking time is what it is. I can't even goddamn be here. Because what the hell is the point? What is the point of life if you don't have love and you don't have family and you don't have fucking real goddamn human connections and you don't have any fucking thing, you know, you don't get to have a goddamn life. You're just supposed to do what? Fucking go uh, flip goddamn burgers or pump gas somewhere? So you can get little pieces of paper that'll be worthless in no time and you still can't even afford to have a place to live? What the fuck is the goddamn point? Seriously, what's the point? What's the fucking point? You grow up and they tell you, oh, you could, one day you could be anything you want to, Billy. You could be president of the United States. You could be an astronaut. Bullshit. It's a fucking lie. You could be a real rock star. Yeah, you know. You would play for the NBA when you grow up. It's bullshit. It's a fucking lie. It's all a goddamn lie. That's all it is. You're born into certain positions. You could do jack shit and fucking have the world, you know, at your feet. Gold rains down from the sky for you. See people like that, like some of these actors that just come out of nowhere. Or these guys that did basically nothing play with a computer in their fucking basement and then one day all of a sudden there's this new billionaire you've never heard of that pops out of the woodwork he's got billions of dollars and runs some giant corporation because his daddy or his grandfather owned a fucking emerald mine or you know <laughs> had a big vault full of gold or something hmm it's just, and you see these dudes that you never even, 
there's another thing that you know kind of seems like a Mandela effect. I'll hear I'll, I'll there'll be these like new famous people that pop up out of nowhere. Never fucking heard of them before, but they're like super famous suddenly. Like, uh, what's that dude? Um, I don't know. There's a bunch of them, actually, musicians and actor, stand-up comedian. You know, like, people that I have never heard of in a million years. Never seen them, never heard of them. And then just one day, all of a sudden, they're all over every TV station. Movies, they're in TV shows, they're in commercials. They're super, you know, being touted as super famous. And, and they don't seem to even have be, they don't even seem to really be all that talented or anything. But just, like, they come out of nowhere and they're super famous and super rich all of a sudden. It's like, who the fuck is this person? Never even heard of them. Never even heard of this person, but all of a sudden they got shows with like hundreds of thousands of people showing up. Like, who the fuck is this person? You yeah. know? Shit. I don't know. I've seen other things that were strange too, just like changes in people. I don't know, like, there's this dude, Bill, I know, right? And I've had times where, like, one day he'll, he'd show up and he's driving, like, a white, this white car or, or you know, and then, then some other day later, later he'll show up and he's driving the same model car, but it's a different color. Oh, well, that's the same car I've always had, right? Well, one day he shows up and he's... You know, got his big gut, and another day he shows up and he's skinny. Another day he shows up, he's got gray hair, long gray hair. Another day he shows up, he's got short hair that's not gray, and he's, you know, it looks like he's 20 years younger or something. Shit like that. Yeah. Just impossible fucking shit, dude. I'm like the level. I'm not saying this is what I've experienced, but I'm saying, like, this is the kind of thing that I see happen. Like, um, let's say you know somebody, I don't know, somebody you've known your whole life, you see them often, some a member of your family walks up and you find out that they have a peg leg, that they've had an amputated leg or something that was amputated 10 years ago. You've been living in the same house with them all this time. You've never heard of any sort of accident having ever happened. You have no memory of any sort of accident ever happened or them ever losing their leg. But suddenly they've got this leg that's amputated. That's another story that I heard somebody, uh, that's an actual real story of what, so what somebody has experienced. That like somebody had their, their brother or their sister or something had an amputated leg and they'd never known anything about it. Like you would have known that, right? Or something more crazy, like say you know somebody and they had an amputated leg or lost an arm in an industrial accident, and then they walk up, they walk into your house one day and they've got both arms or whatever, they got both legs. It's like, what are you talking about? I never had a, you know. <laughs> or like you've been to, you see, you're, you're cousin or your uncle died and you were at their funeral and you saw them buried and put in the ground and then you bump into them at the grocery store fucking six months or a year later and they're standing right there right like that's that's the level of shit that you know mandela affected people deal with a lot of us like the one the real deal you got all these people that are like allowed to talk that they just go on and on about Oh, yeah, the Berenstein Bears books is spelled different, and Pikachu had a black spot on his tail, and blah, 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 and they're just on and on and on. Been fucking, like, eight or nine goddamn years of this shit with these people just going, yeah. Like, day one fucking amateur level shit. They don't even talk about, like, what the fuck it is. It's just the same old regurgitation of the same crap that, like, yeah, we knew about this about fucking ten years ago now, so... I think it might be time to move the fuck on to stage two or something. Stage three, you know. 
start solving this shit, you know, figuring out what the hell. Talk about the extra, extra, extra crazy shit, you know. It's like even when people are talking about shit that sounds batshit crazy to other people, they'll only, they're only willing to go so far to talk about a certain extent of the crazy, and they're not willing to go beyond that, you know? Well, I, I think a lot of people have experienced a lot of crazy shit in their lives. I mean, they won't talk about it because nobody wants, to be th nobody wants you to think they're crazy. Nobody wants to be called crazy. That's the danger thing, right? So you might get somebody to say, uh, yeah, I believe in aliens, or oh yeah, I saw a video of a UFO. But that person may have seen UFOs in person dozens of times, and they're not going to tell you about it. They might have had a fucking alien standing in their bedroom, they're not going to tell you about it, you know? Or if you ask if they believe in ghosts, they might tell you, yeah, I believe in ghosts, if they're willing to go that far, but they won't tell you about the haunting they had at the house when they grew up. They won't tell you about the the, you know, dark shadow man in the hat that showed up at the foot of their bed when they were five, six years old or whatever, you know? They're not going to tell you about that, right? <laughs> For the most part, it's like that, yeah. And it's funny how some of the most intense, like, Mandela Effect type videos just seem to disappear off the internet. Or get buried under so much bullshit, or, you know. Still to this day, I mean, there's been a massive glut of videos talking about the Mandela Effect since 2015. And here we are, goddamn eight years later. And if you look up Mandela Effect, you see, see the same fucking shit. Same people talking about the same shit or even less intense shit than people were talking about eight fucking years ago. It's like a... Uh, Alright. 